This is what you wanted, huh? We got it, we got it. Okay, we got it, we got it, we got it. We understand it, we understand it, we understand it. We get it, we get it. Can you, dude, I'm gonna go crazy. Please stop it. You didn't, you didn't like it, Stevie? Oh, it was driving I enjoy me crazy. It. It's, they're tough to look at. Oh my at. God. They're tough to look at. I I it's dude. They're, they're tough smokes. to look at, but it's a catchy tune. Oh my Is God. It? If the, if. <laughs> <laughs> Back off my broccolini. Get your life together. It is. Don't touch me, bro. I'm not touching you, dude. Yeah, it sounds good, right? Holy smokes. We look like we're fine. Like well, radio. This is 102.3 KJLH. <laughs> <laughs> smooth <laughs> jazz. <laughs> the smooth jazz. We're here on K-White from Tennessee. <laughs> K-White, Tennessee. Heard Did, y'all prem <laughs> like to say the N-word. W-H-I-T-E. <laughs> Los Angeles. <laughs> Oh, Theo, Theo's laughing. Yeah, Theo, yeah, good to see you laugh at him. Look at Theo with the shades on. Theo, different, dog. Hell yeah. Your, your, your Netflix special blown up. You, you're yeah. treating us oh, different, man. Yeah, he's, treating he's us big different. time now. Big yeah. time. Mr. Big Time Netflix. Well, that's today, right? Woo! But it came on at that midnight. That was yesterday. That was yesterday. I thought it was the oh, 19th. It, it, it just dropped? It just dropped. Just I watched dropped it this morning yeah. at 6 a.m. That's what I'm saying. It was actually at midnight. It came yeah, out, yeah, right? First yeah. view right there. I want to review. What you What'd you think? I want to review. Best special on Netflix. No Best lie. special on Netflix. Incredible. Yep. What's yeah, up, But dog? you're like a mom. You have to say that. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm telling oh, you. You like a mom, dude? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Then we got to see if we can get some different mom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like a stepmom. I bet if your mom looked like, like if your mom I mean, looked like Bridget. We want the hot, I want the hot mom. <laughs> with them big tits? Nah, man, that ain't yeah. for you. How you feeling with the special, Eric, deal? Look at Eric, dude. What, what'd you say, B? I said, how you feeling with the special? You feel good about it? It's always nerve wracking when you put yourself out there like that. Yeah, you know, I, you know, I guess I have some different thoughts. I'm definitely excited about it. Um, but then you also see what some of the, you know, like I don't know. There's different. I'm, I'm really excited. I'm excited people get to see it that never got to come out to a comedy show. Yeah, yeah. Um, there's a lot of energy and hype around it, kind of. Oh, you come out like it's not the like same, Bruce Buffer. It's not the same. Thing. What's that be? I'm sorry. I said you came out like Bruce Buffer announced your name. You came out the cannon hot. Ooh. That opening st- scene, he oh, comes out watch. hot. I haven't, wa- I haven't watched it. I thought I knew it was today, but I didn't realize I could have watched it midnight. <laughs> oh, that, it's a hot day. hour, boy. That thing it's hot. A, you'll burn, bro. You'll burn your hands even on the back end of that thing. Can I say something you before know? you even continue, Theo? You know, it's like it's hard to it's hard for us to com- compartmentalize our brains sometimes. And I think that, like, you know, you always have like a sort of businessy side of your brain that's always working. And I think that sometimes you should turn that off and just enjoy the moment. It's like you did this yeah. thing. It's great. You have a lot of fans. You, you've come a long way. So take a time to enjoy it. It's like an NFL team. Like, enjoy the win on Sunday. Don't look at the next move. And and then wait till Monday or Tuesday to be like, all right, now let's go on to the next game. But make sure you take some time right now just to enjoy it and stop. Because I know your brain is already thinking about, okay, there's critics. There's this. I got to get this many views. I got to go this and that. Don't worry about all that. Just enjoy this W today. And then you can worry about all that businessy shit later. That's good advice. Mm -hmm. The other thing, too, is Netflix promoting them, too. Yeah. Big time? Yeah, man. When I when I turned on my Netflix this morning, boom, he's top of the the promo. Wow. Well, wow. there it is right there. I just went to my Netflix on my he's phone. He's on the top, right? You know, it's boom. That's right, Netflix. It was shameful. But that's because they know we're in the same room, bro. You go go down and go to the bathroom and you won't even see me on your thing. It'll be like <laughs> <I know>. Ozarks. <laughs> <laughs> or whatever I'm watching. I, I like a lot of sci-fi stuff. Or Black yeah. Ozark, whatever you watch. <laughs> <It's> Bozarks. <laughs> I don't know what y'all do, bro. <laughs> Bro, no, well, look at Eric. Eric's dressed like a uh, broke back oh, Mentos. <laughs> oh, man, he I didn't hear, hear that joke. I, I can't hear sucks. anything now. Uh, he said, "You look like a broke back Mentos." Oh, listen to him. <laughs> 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 what do you got? A jujitsu shirt on? No. Yeah, this is from my boy Jack Shore. Tank Shore sent me this. Yeah. Hell yeah, he looks like a NASCAR mm. car. Friend you know of the show, I mean? Jack. From across yeah. the pond, baby. Across the pond, seven people reneged on their accounts once they saw you rocking that shirt, Doug. Bro, we don't say reneged in here, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I think you do, actually. <laughs> no, well, oh, well yeah. Look, yeah, you, you dropped the R E. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I can't even believe they got. I mean, some of the stuff we got to, you know, if you go to the sushi menu, if you had a sushi place, 
they got that one item on there. I can't even order it anymore. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the hell's going on? <laughs> yeah, there's certain whiskey I can't order. Yeah. That Japanese one that's spelled with N I K K A. I should go, yeah. uh, what Japanese whiskey is that? He says, oh. yeah, that one. Oh, gotcha. I yeah. just point at it, dude. I'll, yeah. tell, I'll just say, look, you know the one I want. You know what I'm talking about. The yeah. Nidgery. <laughs> I had a question. How long in a comedian's career does it take you to get to that pinnacle moment of a special? It's like you got to do it 20 years. Took me two weeks. <laughs> two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Took me two weeks and on a Showtime special. And now I, well, don't, no, no, ad- I, I don't advise that. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Ser- are you being serious? No, it's different now, Steve. It's, 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 a, it's a different world. So this is my view on specials. Go ahead. We're, we're Theo, Theo's level. And get on Netflix, that's a big fucking deal. And it took him years and years and years. And Theo's one of the most gifted comics in the world. How many years are we so, talking about? She's been doing 20 fucking years, something like 20 that. 20 plus years. Now he's at this pinnacle years, point. Yeah, to, to to get on Netflix where, you know, there's it's oh. going to say Chappelle, Burr, Theo, Segura, Joe Coy. That's Theo's path. And Theo's at that level. He's for, at that level. He's, he's at that level. That's, is that the pinnacle? You can't get higher than that. No, right? he's at. He's yeah. It's all down from so here. So he's oh. like Elvis. He's yeah, the, it's, the it's king. All, yeah, but he's eating <laughs> peanut butter sandwiches. He's gonna <laughs> sh- die on the toilet. Yeah. Right. <laughs> but for me, with eighty pounds of feces. Yeah. <laughs> but for me, it's about getting content. Like the game has changed, where you want as much content as you can out possible. So I don't view specials like maybe Theo does or Eric does. You, I view it as marketing. What? That's why it's so when hard. Marketing shit- difference. Go ahead, Theo. Different Go folks ahead. is different. Yep. Different folks is different. You know, you might, you could do a tour if you wanted and say, look, I'm going on tour and I'm going to do all my, you know, certain classic bits if you have it or. Yeah, that's why they're there to I see. Mean, I think, yeah. Some people might want to come and see something specific. It's definitely better live, no matter I think what it is, but yeah. um, I don't know. I'm probably doing, I would say 25% is the, is, is the, Old stuff and seventy five percent is new stuff. So because he just shot it, when you think about it, so it's tough to have a whole new hour. So how long does it take to to get another hour once your stuff's out there? Years. How do you guys do it? How do you do that, Eric? That's why the game's so goddamn tough. Eric, how do you come up with new stuff? Like, well, I'm always thinking about new stuff. Yeah, Eric. I mean, it just depends on. It really depends on the comic, or like how long you've been doing it, or if you trust your point of view. You know, I mean, look at Chappelle. He came out with seven specials, and you know three years or whatever it is so you know right, what i mean so right, it's like right. it just depends on the comic what you want to talk about how you talk about it if you understand your point of view then you can talk about anything because people are going to get that thing theo's got that thing where you know so if you have a subject his audience is going to be like oh i can't wait to hear what theo's going to say about this and Agreed. they have an idea his, his of how perspective it's going to go. and his yeah. viewpoint it's on uni- whatever it is it's oh, unique yeah. yeah he's theo's the most it unique. wasn't worth Chappelle. Chappelle got that money though yeah, yeah, yeah. He got so thir- he's got the X factor. All the money they gave him. You saw how they released that info? Like the, he got twenty three, yeah, twenty three million say this. dollars. Hey, black people, if y'all are out there, if y'all want reparations, still see Dave, baby. He got the cash. I'll tell you that. <laughs> so based on what I got paid from those people, the game has changed. Oh. Uh, bro, Theo, Theo's <laughs> been in his special about Quiznos. I was laughing at five forty five a.m. I woke up with my son. The other little one's still sleeping. I was laughing so hard at this Quizno bit, it woke my son up. And then his bit about when he he wants to get uh, uh, funding for for college, and he's a white guy, bro. It's fuck. It's fantastic. I loved it, Theo. I'm, pra- I'm proud of you, what I do. Brother. Blackface, baby. Thank you, bro. I appreciate it, man. Thanks for thanks for the support, dude. Even if I don't think you've been, you look like you've been doing steroids, fucking made by yerba mate, dog. But, <laughs> but thanks for the nice words, man. I'm excited about it, and I appreciate you guys asking yeah, about it. Congrats, Let's man. get into congrats. it, Nikki. Here's the first king of the sting. Because I'm an island boy. Because I'm an island, island boy. boy. What up, everybody? I got a king of the sting for you. Island boy, cause I'm an island boy. I'm trying to be an island boy. It's the newest song that's hitting the nation. It's a fucking bop. King yeah. or Sting it. Gang, gang, bust nuts. King, King, the, the song, Sting the way they look. Have you seen these dudes? No, I don't know what no, you guys are talking about. I don't know what you guys about. are talking about. I'm right an now. island boy. What is this? What You've is seen this? these two in, uh, they're in Florida. Guys. They're definitely Florida material. Really? Wait till you see them. But they're Hawaiian? No, no, that's a no. Hawaiian song. Yeah, Island Boy. Wait that's see, Hawaiian. I wait till you see them. They okay. are not Hawaiian. They no, are, they're Hawaiian. They're from another planet. No, they're Hawaiian. They're, they they are, look like 
Jamaican <laughs> hitchhikers, kind of. <laughs> no, they look like Jamaican Takashi 6'9s. Yeah, That's what I'm, they look I'm, like. I'm out on white yeah. boys with dreads. I'm out. I don't think they're <laughs> they are white. Cuban. They're Cuban. Oh, there you go. Okay. I'm an island boy, and I've been trying to make Oh, I'm an island boy. Hey, I'm a just island boy. I'm a just island boy. I'm a get cute going. You're going to keep that gun. I'll be just staring at the sun. I'm just out full gazing. I'm like, pull where I'm staying. They're like, you want to be famous. I'm trying to be out all great. Because you're the people, eh? Right? Oh, boy. They got a real down topic. I'm like, right. down on the top. Uh-huh. You're blank, I'm son. This is what you wanted, huh? We got it. We got it. Like a okay, we got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. We understand, yeah, yeah, yeah. we understand it, we understand it, we get it, we get it. Can you, dude, I'm gonna go stop crazy. It. Please stop it. You didn't, you didn't like it, Stevie? Oh, it was driving I me it. crazy. It's, they're tough to oh look at. Oh my god. They're tough to look at. I boy. I outstood. They're, they're tough smokes. to look at, but it's a catchy tune. Oh my is god. It? If Theo, if, <laughs> if Theo's special doesn't like look this. out, this is Theo's next move. Yeah. <laughs> I think he already tried this. I'm a Nashville boy. That's Hawaiian? What kind of style is that? Is that... I, Jamaican, Hawaiian, what is that? Couldn't tell you. Never heard yeah. that That's sound. their own thing. That yeah, thing. and it is fire. It's the cult this of is cultural appropriation, I feel like. Yeah. Uh, I guess. I feel like I like Suicide Boys. This should just be suicide. <laughs> 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 yeah, These dudes I, are unbelievable, I guess, bro. Yeah, they're This unique. is what happens when y'all want to change the freaking education system. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Who are you talking about? Who want to change the educational system? Point this out. Who who are you talking about? You got these white ass Freddie Douglases out here that don't know shit. That's what you got in this pool right here. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I, don't, I really uh, don't know what this. I feel like an old man. Yeah, when I'm I look old. At this. I don't know what's going I, on. I look at I this and no I just idea. go, I, "This is just." This reminds me of that little girl who was on like the like a uh, Doctor Phil. And she was yelling oh, at Natalie her Holloway. Uh, and she was yelling at her parent, her mom, and she yeah. became a rapper. Bad baby. Oh, what's her name? Bad baby. Oh, oh baby Bab. Yeah, yeah, oh, that, that, baby. These yeah. guys remind me of that. Catch was, me outside, girl. The yeah. Catch yes. me outside, girl. Yeah, yeah. Catch, I'll yeah. see you outside. So this, so what I'm saying, it's the same kind of thing. Is like you kind of hate listening to this. And, it, and so they're going to blow up. Look, we're talking about it on our podcast. I mean, I, you know I got to be saying? honest. This is I like, enjoyed it. <laughs> so, so, you like to hate watch stuff? Yeah. Like, I'm not going to listen to it in my goddamn car, but it, you I like the, on You it. like the downfall of society? Yeah. That's what you like? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that's a king it and two sting it's and Theo? Sting the way they look, king the way they sing. I would like to see the, both of these dudes fight Nick <laughs> Diaz. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I would like. And I think he would do it. Uh... I don't know, man. I don't know what's going on here. Mm-hmm. I feel like this is a side effect of something that's happened in society. I think we're going to start seeing more of it. Mm. But no, this is what happens when, when mom it. when moms vape and have babies, man. That's the side effect. Of yeah, this. that's that great yeah. vape right there. They're already tatted. They're like oh, yeah. sixteen years know, old. They're so already young. tattooed on the chest. And, and you're right. They were raised by their mother. Their dad died when they were five. And. Oh. Uh, one of them was asked if he if he wanted to be a rapper. He's like, no, I never wanted to be a rapper growing up. I just wanted to be lit. Oh, and yeah. and, and he's yeah. a fire answer. Dream. Fire answer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'd love to see their report cards. <laughs> You're assuming they're in school. Yeah, well, yeah, and they don't have report cards anymore, man. They're, like, they don't, they're doing away with those. You saw that in Louisiana. They, they just made a law: no more grades. It makes kids feel bad. It said. <laughs> That's oh, why I give my kid his own grades. F. Keep yeah. him humble, you know? Mm, F for okay. fine as hell, that little one. I know that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a, so that's a sting? Right? Uh, <laughs> I, it, yeah. yeah. We, I think we need to bring this Wait, back here's out. What I want to know. But I got a question <laughs> for the group. How, how, wh- what is the peak of these guys' um, career potential? You're they looking career. at it. You're looking at it. No, no I no, totally no, no. disagree. They can do a hit single. That could be their hit single. I think if they like collab with like Takashi Six Nine, dude, they would. I would love up. that if they collab with Takashi Six Nine yep. and show it to my dad, and mm-hmm. he just has a brain aneurysm. Then they just start telling on people. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just, like, they start snitching. <laughs> just one Here, song. No, no. Here's the thing. All it takes is like some record exec, some money grubbing record exec is going to see that and be like, oh. Get them, yep. and, then, and then they find some producer who's got some tracks, and they just let them. It's like Milli Vanilli, man. Yep. 
You know, they're just going to have them do their thing. And then the next thing you know, we're going to be like, and all people will keep saying is, why are these guys famous? Why are these guys and the famous? millions and millions and, of and, and it, don't, it don't even matter, yep. man. Yeah. Say, say less. Oh, I'm about to sign the Thick Boy Records. <laughs> 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 I already got Little Brows. Oh, I'll clap wow. them and Little Brows. You yeah. might have to fight. Uh, Kodak Black wow. just reached out to Motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> and he has what the I same say? haircut. He has the same haircut. Oh, so he sees the potential. Yeah. No, no, he's, there's people see the dollar signs. I'm a Nashville right. boy. <laughs> I'm a Nashville boy. A little music video. Oh, That's all you need, yeah. boy. <laughs> what kind of boy are you, Stevie? You say it. Well, they're calling us, me and Eric, soy boy. <laughs> uh, I'm a soy boy. Oh. Yeah. I, I don't know what that means, though. I don't know what a soy boy a so, is. A soy boy oh. is, so I said no soy boys at my yeah, comedy you, shows. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. a soy boy is someone that lacks masculinity, like someone who's real soft, like woke and soft. Got them tits coming boy. in. So that's me. I'm a soy boy. You're not a soy boy. You're far from You're it. You're a sesame boy. I'm a sesame boy. <laughs> so, well, so soy I'm a teriyaki boy. Because they called Eric a soy boy, too. <laughs> Skin a little. Yeah. I'm a sauce boy. Uh, oh, little bitch who can't handle even the slightest amount of pressure. That's not true, man. I That was pressure when I... Who was calling when you? When I took who, down George. Who, I, I, who, I, I, who called you a soy boy? You, you online? On my DMs. Ah, I keep calling this right, boy. Right, right, right. I'm an eel sauce boy. Oh. I'm an eel sauce boy. Yeah. Like, like these people. He said eel sauce. I don't know if we caught that. I mean, you, just, you just know, like, the the 2% of uh, uh, King of the Sting troll fans, that 2%. They're just the loudest. You don't 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 worry, but don't listen. Stay to out them. of there, Steve. Yeah. It's not gonna do you any yeah. good. Well, just yeah. stay out. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I post, I get out. Yeah. Boom, boom. I don't out. You're any still opinions, growing, good Stevie. Or bad. <laughs> mm-hmm. You're still growing, Stevie. I wouldn't really put a lot mm-hmm. of rules on yourself at this age. Mm-hmm. And quit vaping at this huh? age. Yeah, man. I'm older. I'm older than all you guys. <laughs> <laughs> but you, but you look the I'm youngest. I'm like Yoda. I'm just like, yeah. Yeah. You look young. Yeah. Though. yeah, I'm old. But in Korean years, man, you guys, you like a damn turtle, bro. Think about that. You know. Yep. You yeah. got a little, they'll bust you open and find the 70, 80, 200 rings inside of your body, bro. Yeah, man. I'm a Korean boy. Yeah, yeah Koreans, like, they, they, look, they look young until then they turn into, like, you know. It's like Cinderella. Yeah, it's Hits like, it goes to, like, oh, you put them on a keychain at the end, you put them on a keychain. <laughs> oh, they still card me. I get carded. Oh, yeah. You look young oh, yeah. as fuck, man. Yeah, People at my I, shows are like, how old is Stevie? I'm like, how old do you think he is? Like, 26, 27? Like, oh, yeah. try 47. How do you know my exact age? <laughs> I don't know. I just Ooh, assume. Can we? I don't want to time say that. Y'all should have a joint everything. funeral, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Theo act like he's 32. <laughs> <laughs> he Theo. looks young, though, too, doesn't he? Yeah, it's the hair. It's that yeah, Patrick Swayze yeah, wig. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you look young. You know? Mm. Yeah, Theo, this like, three years away from wing, having bro, to bro, die that. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? What else you got, Nick? Uh, this guy's my um, g- sauce boy. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's got a relationship advice question for us, and I don't know, he might be in some trouble. Stevie, that dude from Workaholics, I got a relationship advice for you. <laughs> Let me know what you think. <laughs> I'm dating this girl for about two Eric's months. Dead. Well, then you can <laughs> roast him because I think he's in trouble. Let's yeah, up. let's see. <laughs> She had told me that the ex-boyfriend was kind of in the picture that had a shared apartment together what? that he had moved out of, but he would come over sometime to like do laundry because he was still technically paying for it. Yeah, laundry. And so it was a little messy, but she told me it was over. Um, they were just kind mm-hmm. of involved in some day-to-day type things that mm-hmm. had been going on for a while. Uh-uh. And so I kind of took her yeah. word on it. But then the other day she hits me okay. that mm-hmm. she has to go to a wedding with him oh. in Chicago. Oh. We're in L.A. Oh. Mm-hmm. And we have to cancel our plans to go see the great Tim Dillon together live, which makes it even worse. But she claims she just feels obliged to go because she had already committed to going before they broke up. Mm-hmm. And now she's on a plane, to be fair, a separate plane than him, but to go to the wedding with her ex-boyfriend in Chicago. What are we doing? Dude? She claimed it's over. She's just doing it because she was already committed to going. Nah. But I'm not really sure. So what do you guys think? Get out of there, Girl, dude. Dating, this sound like this sound like a, a catfish. Yeah, you know what I mean, like he, not a big deal. Yeah, get no, out, no, get out, get out. Can I take this one? Can I just throw this? In? <laughs> of course, yeah. it, I, it sounds, it sounds like he's, he's washing his whites, doing the colors, and getting his dick sucked, my man. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. When Ooh. you break up with somebody, you break up with them. Mm-hmm. Like you don't have a shared apartment because first of all, it sounds like she ain't shit either. If she got an apartment, like like what's going on with their apartment? That the ex boyfriend's still paying for it. Mm-hmm. Like it's time for you to get like yeah, you know, sever that relationship. So if you still got a a, a good enough relationship with somebody that you still 
you know, sharing bills. And he's still coming over to do you know, his laundry. So, does he, have, so not the, does he knocking on the door, or is he just walking right in? He's walking right in. You know, and is she doing the laundry, or is he doing the laundry? Is he picking the laundry I, up? You know what I'm saying? Nah. Like it sounds like that relationship isn't over yet, and and he knows. Mm-hmm. Don't be an idiot. Like you, <coughs> well, you have to trust your instincts. If you feel like something's up, something's up. Oh, bro, he, he's dropping more than one load off in that apartment. You feel me? <laughs> right, right. That's so what do you, you, what do you suggest? He just get out. Just hell yeah, oh, get out to get the out. left, to the no. left. Just get out. No, no, I don't think I think you got to stay in these days, man. You got to stay in. You got to let them fight. At this point, everything is coming to battles. Yeah, I like you this. got people yeah. fist fighting everybody. People's stepmothers are out there fist fighting on TikTok. Big Tiffany, little Ernestine, everybody fight. Yeah. You know? So I think you got to let these broads let it hit, get, catch them, videotape them. Catch them. Yeah, this is a cheater uh, situation. Yeah. You got to create. Uh, yeah. Make controversy. Get a hype tape or something. So, Theo, should get he a, fight? Should he fight? Homeboy come over to do his laundry? Try and get this stain well, out of his white tee. I would get some footage of them. Yeah. I would put it out on TikTok. Mm-hmm. Sell 30, 40 tickets. Do it over a Zoom. Wait, fight first him. of all, can I tell you something? I ain't mad at the dude coming over to do his laundry. He's being allowed to come over and do his laundry. Like, you call mm-hmm. your ex and you go, hey, can I come over and do laundry? She'd be like, A real ex would be off. like, get the fuck out of here. Yeah. You ain't coming over to do no laundry. And then the fact that he's still paying, the fact that, like, it's like, that know, ain't she, on she's him. Fu- she's fucking him. Yeah, yeah, that ain't I, on I, him. I'm a better man. The, like, the, this guy right here should be like, yo, I'm uncomfortable with this situation. Oh, it's minus 6,000. Yeah. She's you know? still sucking his So dick. you guys said boundaries. Yeah. Ba- thank you, Steve. Boundaries. <laughs> If you want the boundaries, this dude don't want him. This dude's smiling. He got nice right. skin. He's I doing totally fun. agree. Call yeah. me when you've got a cigarette burn. Call me when yeah. one of your yeah. walls is missing in your yeah. house. Yeah. He's because a handsome guy. He can get another Tiffany girl. Out there. He like you get another first of all, first of all, let me tell you something. Washing. Let me tell you something. My lady ain't going to a wedding with her ex. Hell <laughs> well, no. how would you handle that? How would you she handle ain't that? Going, first of all, no, I wouldn't no, be no. I wouldn't be in this situation. It, it wouldn't be a conversation. <laughs> yeah. my, my girl wouldn't be like, hey, do you mind? Are like, you who, your goddamn like, mind? Who's still coming well, over to do laundry? How would you say that to them like, in a rational, calm manner? Oh, uh, there's nothing rational about it. <laughs> Bitch, you out of your mind. You grab her elbow. Do I look like a sore elbow? So you would hold her elbow? You hold her elbow. Like, yo. And say, no, that's not happening. He ain't doing the laundry. No, it's just, first of all, it wouldn't have got to that point. No, that's just a lack of respect. first of all, like we need to go back in this situation. There was a point where they got together and the dude was already still there. Insane. So that's what I'm saying. The other guy is just kind of like, oh, you in a new relationship? Cool, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to still pay rent here. Yours. You know, you know, I still pay rent here. She never got out of that. She never no. dis- She never distangled herself from her ex. That's messy. Like, I'm, sorry, I'm with, I'm, I'm with Theo. About? I'm with Theo. I'd film that bitch I, when he get drops his dirty laundry. How do you off. do that? Security cameras? Nah, make... I get on my cell phone. I go through his dirty undies. He got skid marks no. and shit. I'm oh, blasting that on right, TikTok. What you right. do, Stevie? Stevie, you hook a GoPro probably to. Uh, I would fa- I would do like a fake knee injury, knee injury, knee brace, GoPro on the side of it. <laughs> or I would do. Um, yeah, yeah, no one's GoPro gonna see that. in the luggage bag. <laughs> GoPro in the laundry basket or in the dryer. He opens the dryer. Yeah, she opens. Yeah, right. You got to get that POV. I like it. That's where I'm yeah, at. That's, right that. that's that porno POV. Yeah. You know so you I mean? need the that. evidence. You need the evidence. I mean, then I you guess. flash it to her. Yeah. Look what I. S- no, I, but there's no evidence. He already has the evidence. He had tickets Stevie. to go someplace with his girl, and his girl's like, "Hey, we got to cancel that. I actually have to get on a flight yeah, that's and insane. go hang out with my ex." And they're gonna <laughs> stay in the same room. Uh, I've seen way too much cat. Oh, no, first forty eight. This is. Go ahead, Theo. This Go guy ahead. is being too soft, man. Yeah. Here's what he wants. So that's soy boy though. stuff. That's soy boy tendency. So that's soy boy stuff. That's a soy boy tendency. Yeah. Holy smokes. Yeah. That's Stevie, it. how would you handle it, you think? Case closed. Done, done, and done. Boom. Done, done, and yep. done. Stevie going back home to that black ass. What's up, girl? Uh, back by a popular Dude. man. We got some more Race My Cases brought to us by... This Eric people. from 60 years ago right here. <laughs> 60? <laughs> so I was bald 60 years ago, and then I, then I grew hair? Is that yeah. where this is going? Rogaine, <laughs> baby, Rogaine. <laughs> I was saying things is changing, bro. <laughs> uh, he's, he's bringing us more Race My Cases. What up, King and the Steam crew? Just Justin is fucking back. Let's go. <laughs> All right, guys. I got a funny one for you guys today. A man in Arkansas was arrested for indecent exposure after police rolled into a neighborhood after getting a call about a dude. Uh, we'll get on to why they got a call. <coughs> the guy was seen walking down the street doing a couple of odd things. So when police rolled up on him, they questioned him. Hey, man, what are you doing down here? He said, nothing much, you know, I just walking around the neighborhood. 
Uh, just, you know, walking around the neighborhood is what he said. Uh, loitering. They asked him, you know, why did you know why did we get a call down here about you uh, possibly exposing yourself? He said, well, I saw a dog using the bathroom. That's the excuse he gave. Him. Doing naked cartwheels. They pressed him a little bit more on the situation. I've seen that. Yep. They found out that the dude ended up seeing a dog that wasn't even his take a piss on somebody's lawn mm -hmm. and decided, you know what? I want to mark my spot in this neighborhood, too. And pulled his pants out, pulled his dick out, and decided to try to pee. He told the cops, hey, I try I pulled my dick out, I tried to pee, but nothing came out, so I just took the loss and kept it moving. <laughs> Race my case, boys. What guy is coming through the neighborhood and trying to pull out that old cocker spaniel? I wish I knew Let's how big it. that dick was, Ray, to be honest. It was probably pretty big. That'd make this a lot mm -hmm. easier. Well, yeah, and, and, and is the guy on drugs? And what part of the? Oh, he's yeah. on drugs. And what sure. story is? Was it a was that a book report, Justin? What I don't even understand <laughs> what happened in the story. I don't either. The so guy was know? loitering in a neighborhood. The cops pulled right, up. Right. Someone saw him pull his dick out. Well, after the dog took a piss. Because he said, well, I saw, the dog was taking piss. Why then, can't I? Exactly. Oh. Yeah. I think that's fair, man. I think if a dog can do it, you should be able to do it. Yeah, take a shit, dog. Um, well, you can't eat someone's asshole in public, though, Theo. Yeah, uh, you could. <laughs> I've seen it. On a lot of Stevie's, uh, <laughs> I'm sure, private <laughs> stock films, you could. <laughs> You, what was that? Stevie, Stevie, what what race? You 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 go first. What do you mean what race? Do you, we think what, the pisser is the what, man? What color pisser. is the guy that had his dick out trying to? Oh, he was a white guy. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go with black. Arkansas. Yeah. The cops came just because he's. He wasn't around. an Asian. It wasn't an Asian guy. I guarantee well, the cops you that. Did. Right, Jim? The cops For sure. just came. It was not an Asian. Not Asian. The dick okay. needed to be pulled out, and then the cops came. So it's a white guy. <laughs> I'm gonna say I'm gonna, I'm gonna go black guy. Theo. White guy. Uh, I don't. I've never even heard of an Asian in Arkansas. I believe it. But I would like to see the music. <laughs> Fair point. See? I'm gonna go. This sounds like such a white thing, but I'm gonna go black. Too black, too white. Too black, too white. What do we got, Nick? He was black guy. Oh. Surprised that they didn't call him first. They didn't come get him. And that's he was really they used to work at the comedy store. Remember him? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't know what name. Oh, no, no, that's Doc. <laughs> He's Bro, that's Doc, Doc that's that you at the comedy store. <laughs> <laughs> What's his name? Doc. Uh, Doc. Yeah, I'm staying away from this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Doc Willis. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. NFL fans, you might be hungry for a big week, a big win. You want to get something good. You want to. You want the damn Colts to win somehow. That'll never happen. DraftKings Sportsbook. It's an official sports betting partner of the NFL. That's right. They got you covered. If you like to gamble, if it's not a problem for you, if it's a problem for you, don't do it. Find something else to do. Call a friend. And I'm sorry that you're having to hear this ad if this is a problem for you. But new customers who want to gamble or my friend Tim yesterday said, hey, but I want to put a few dollars on something. I said, well, well, maybe, you know, put $10 on that Josh Allen will run for two touchdowns. So he did that, and he did Derrick Henry for two touchdowns. My boy J.A. didn't get it done. Derrick Allen did. My buddy made like 200 bucks or something. Awesome. Good for him. New customers can bet just $5 on any NFL team to win their game. And if they do, you win $200 in free bets. That's right. Winner, winner, dinner. If that's simple, then it is simple. If Sportsbook isn't available in your state yet, DraftKings won't leave you empty-handed. Everyone can play for huge cash prizes. DraftKings is giving all new customers a free shot at millions of dollars in total prizes with their first deposit. Yep. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now, N-O-W. Use promo code K-A-T-S. Bet just $5 on any NFL team to win their game and win $200 in free bets. That simple. If they win, you win with the promo code KATS this week at DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NFL. Must be 21 or older. New Jersey, Indiana, or PA only. New customers only. Minimum $5 deposit and $1 wager required. One per customer. Restrictions apply. See DraftKings.com slash Sportsbook for details. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. Okay, I got to let you know that this service is available for clients worldwide. Cross the world, full world. And that's beautiful. If you're Chinese, if you're Japanese, black, Asian, black Anese, Germanese, dude. If you're damn uh, Philippine, Filipinegro, 
Whatever you are, you can get help. Better help. They'll help you. A broad range of expertise is available. You can do it on phone, through video conference, all types of ways. That's right. Visit their website and read their testimonials. A lot of great ones. So many people have been using BetterHelp. They are recruiting additional counselors in all 50 states if you're looking for work. This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp. And King and the Sting listeners get 10% off their first month at BetterHelp.com slash K-A-T-S. I get help. You can if you need it. He's got another one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's got another one. All right, King and the Sting crew. So a mom in Los Gatos, California... Mexican Ooh, son was demonized. <laughs> the cool mom was arrested for some crazy shit. I mean, for or Asian, it means the cats. Sexual misconduct, all sorts of different shit. But let me get into what she was doing. This lady was having crazy uh, sex parties, crazy sex parties for her, for her kids. Uh, I believe a fourteen year old and a, th- oh. a fifteen year old, two of her sons. Mm-hmm. And she would invite all of their friends over Mm -hmm. and they would just drink alcohol and she would encourage them to have sex with the two girls that showed up. So imagine the real sausage fest that was. Real gangbang. But anyway, uh, some of the kids spent the night. Some reports uh, say that they got so drunk there that they were forced to go home and kind of tell their parents what was going on. And then after that, the lady would harass the parents. All this was going on in California. The lady knew that police were catching up to her, so her ass fled to Idaho. And guess what this Idaho potato did? This bitch started having more parties. <laughs> Farmhouse uh, parties. Yeah. I'm just joking. I don't know about that one. But <laughs> Lays, nonetheless, baby. she still had parties out there, was encouraging the same kind of behavior with her sons. The sheriff's office uh, basically said that her sons were in danger, and they arrested her, and this lady's going to be facing some charges. She has a house in California worth $4.2 million. Light. I don't know why that's viable And then went to Idaho? Idaho? Just thought I'd throw that out there. She had, to, she, had, she had to blend in in Idaho. Yeah. So she got to be Money. white. Tried to lay low in all Idaho. all kinds of crazy shit. Race my case, boys. Mm. White. Man, I'll go first. White, yeah. white. Anybody mm. not saying white? White. Theo? I'm going to go white. White, white, white. white. It was, mm-hmm. it was Doc Willis? No, <laughs> <laughs> She's a white woman, oh, obviously. Oh, there she is. Uh, yeah. Sandra O'Connor, so Irish. Probably. Ooh, she's so what was Sandy the context? Huh? What, how are these parties go? Like, well, she would organize them there in the, high school. Steve, they, Steve, have, saying it like, Steve saying it like, how can I get an invite? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> how far is that from here? <laughs> she's the best wing woman her son will ever have. Yeah, yeah she can do some time. Oh, so there are older point. women there. No, no, no. no. They were all teenagers. That would be different. Like, imagine if she was inviting her friends from book club. That's to, a different story. To fuck her son. <laughs> yeah. That would be completely different. But this is just, it, yeah, that I, would be bad too. I've seen a porno But like this that. is just ridiculous. Yeah. Like, I, right. I, I just find that ridiculous. It it's Columbia. like you want to, like, if you have kids, you just want to go, like, I don't want, you so you don't want your kids going to anybody's house. Hell no. You yeah. know? Because you don't know what's going on over there. You don't know their rules at that house. I don't trust them. Damn. Stevie, how would you handle it, Stevie? Uh, I would talk to my mom <laughs> and I would say, Mom, this is not good parenting. And uh, but you're uh, naked. You're doing blowjobs. No, no, you're no, naked. no, no. I wouldn't be naked. <laughs> I wouldn't be naked. So when you were a kid, no, no, no. No, I wouldn't you would have said that, but then your dad would have been no, like, I would have said, Mom, up, mom, mom this, this, <laughs> easy there. Easy. You know what I mean? Easy with that. I would say, Mom, this is not right. Um, and I take my brother and we. I would but just, what are you wearing when you say this? Yeah. You just I, in your whitey tighties. I would be clothed. I would be clothed. The hell you would be. What do you mean? This, these but are naked parties. Yeah, you're one of the kids Dang at bang. the sex thing. No, but he wouldn't be talking to his mom naked. He wouldn't come in the house like, Mom. Guess what? I just got finished doing at my friend's house. So the, everyone in the house is naked. Yeah, it's a gangbang, dude. It's a gangbang of high school kids. And I wouldn't let it get to that it. point. I swear to God, I wouldn't let it get to that point. Right, Chin? Right. I remember. Would you be like a referee? No, I just could. I would leave the house. You wouldn't film it. Or yeah, nothing? I would have my clothes on and I would just leave the house. Good for you, better man okay. than me. Yeah. Wow. What's your fi- your, so at fifteen, you would have came in. Some don't f- push it. Don't push the issue, though. You I'm know just saying. You know what? You would have just. Pushing, we're painting the picture. I gave you my yeah, answer. The I gave you my you. answer. <laughs> you're pushing the issue. Okay. Fair. You want to okay. push it? You're pushing uh, the issue. Yeah. Well, I, what I'm seeing Here's is another what, question. What I, I don't believe Steve's answer. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Here's a question I have for you, Steve. Say you're the parent. Okay, you're the mom or the uh, trans dad or trans mom. Yeah. And they come in and they say, hey, uh, and your kids come in. They say, hey, Stevie, mom, Stevie, we're tired of doing all the sex. We're tired of all of this. Mm -hmm. What do you do as a mom? As their mom, 
Yeah, you're that lady that's throwing the parties and, you, and, <laughs> yeah. and you're letting your 215-year-olds... I would respect their decision. I'd be like, all right, fine. I'll take this party elsewhere. Boom. Okay. This actually leads into our okay. next debate club. It's about some... Uh, he's looking for some advice how to parent. Hey, guys. It's Aaron out of Indiana. Wanted your opinion on something. So, growing up, my parents kept me in the dark a lot on things like sex and drugs. <laughs> didn't work at all, though, because I absolutely love sluts, and I did a <laughs> lot of drugs. Thankfully, not anymore. Yeah. I have two kids now, though, and I believe that they need to know about these kind of things when they're younger so they can grow up yep. knowing what's going on around them. They don't make the same mistakes yep. I made. What's your opinion? What would you do? I <laughs> uh, love this show, guys. I watch it every day at work. Gang, gang, buzz, buzz. Peace out, boys. Gang, gang, baby. Hit it, Brendan. You can mm-hmm. win with kids. Go ahead, Brendan. <laughs> yeah, I'm with him. I grew up being pretty uh, exposed to everything. Mm-hmm. Cussing, mm-hmm. sex, dark moon shit. Moon pies. Yep, moon pies. Drugs? Twink- Twinkies. Nah, not drugs. Cause, uh, sports kept me out of drugs. But I, was a, I was aware of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, Josta, beverages. Short books. Uh, yep. But, uh... I, yeah, like I'll let my kid watch damn near anything unless it's scary because then he won't sleep. But you know, obviously not sexy and stuff like that. But when we get to the certain age, I definitely want to have the talk with them. Well, you, I think you, you don't want to make it weird. I think that what this guy's talking about is like, at what point do you talk about these things and how do you talk about, it, or do you just keep your kids away from it? And I'm of the belief, and I used to work with kids myself, yeah. so I understand like they're gonna do things. So it's like I think it's about giving them the tools to be able to handle these situations and process, you know, and process like, so for instance, like, you know, it's like if a high school party, you want to tell your daughters, especially your daughters, like, Hey, don't drink alone. Like if, if you're going to go do these things, make sure you know the people don't take drugs from someone you don't know. Don't drink at a place where you don't know the people and you don't feel safe. You got to have a buddy. Daughter's Goldilocks, dude. Who's wandering into somebody's house. Drinking at a place they don't even hey, know man, anybody. You, uh, you'd be surprised, man. There's a whole documentary on Netflix about this, about these young girls who ended up, uh, you know, getting raped at these parties. Oh, damn. You know, and then not oh. being be- and not being believed. You know what I mean? But all I, I'm saying is like, don't put it, yourself it, in a situation yeah, that you don't know what's going to, on. I, yeah, no, I, but do you go to parties I, all the time? When you're in high school, someone's like, "Hey, we're going to go to so and so's party." You think it's cool, and you're Ricky. there, and while you're there, the people are like, "Hey, we're drinking. You want to drink?" It's like I'm just saying, give them the tools to make sure that they're careful. Make you know, you're not going to stop her from no, doing stuff. No, that's what I was going to say. You got to be realistic. Yeah, like, be realistic. Yeah, you got to be realistic. So what's give them the, the tools to the survive. Age? The, what's the age? You talk, give them this talk. What's the age? I, I think it's like early teens, man. Early teens. Like, eighth it's grade, like, dude. Yeah. Because they're about to enter high that's school. What's, exactly. Eighth grade. Yeah. I think they're about to be around other people. I think mm-hmm. and once they're about to be around other people, that's when it's time to be like, hey, these kind of things happen. Because you don't know what's going on. Look, for instance, your kid could be going to school with... Mm-hmm. That other kid whose mom is having sex parties. Correct. So you don't know yeah. what's going that on. That kid's coming back, being like, "Oh, I did this, this." And but this. so, like, let me give an example. Like again, I used to work at a school, so it's like you know, when you have a kid and, you, and you're one of these people that's like, "I don't want my kid to have a cell phone," and, and then, you, know, you know what I mean. And, so, and then they go to school, and all oh, the kids got cell yeah. phones. It's right. unrealistic. You, you setting them up to be like, "Well, why am I different from Agreed. everybody else?" and all that stuff. So it's a, about I think that's it's about, religious stuff. I think it's about talking about the religious. I think it's about talking about things. It's, 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 like, it's like you talking about dog. It's it's like cussing. <laughs> like I, my, my my grandma was uh, British as fuck, so they cussed all the time. Mm-hmm. So they oh, didn't yes. like hide me from the cussing. I just knew when to do it and when not to. Exactly. So that, that's what I do with my son. Like I cuss. <laughs> I have whole been. I cuss, man. He'll, he'll he'll like throw some words here and there, but never in school. Never around his grandma. I'm like, if you're around your friends, you can you can use whatever language you want, really. But if you're around like people you respect, <laughs> you can't talk like this. But that but that what you're talking about right now is like that's the responsibility. Parenting. Let me yeah. ask you a parenting. question: What if your son, when he's in high school, right, like sophomore, junior year, yep, and he goes, Dad, like I, we want to drink and party um yeah uh, get a couple beers yeah would you yeah. allow him to do that if it was if you had supervised the whole like they drank at home <sighs> it's a you, tough know, you know what i'm saying like, like like hey dad <sighs> we'll leave the because you don't want to be that cool dad who's like hey i'll buy the beers come no, over that, that that to, yeah but we're doing you know what this is about too though it's about like knowing your knowing your fr- the kids friends parents correct it's about a community so thing. you would tell their parents say i'm gonna get a keg we're going to put it in the garage. Like, hey, yeah. you just went from a couple of beers to like, <laughs> j- should they get some hookers yeah. too, Steve? No, 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 but they want to drink <laughs> no, beers look, with their homies, Dizzy with their Matt. friends, with their friends. No, They want to drink beer. No, I'm with you. at your home, they're safe. Yeah, I know. You know what I'm saying? It, it, that's a tough situation. But again, you you don't want it to, you can't do this if like, 
one of the parents is like, what are you doing? Because they're no. right. Yeah, they're right. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I understand if, you're, if, you're, if, you're, if it's your family, Look, guys, if it's your cousins. Go ahead, Theo, because we can't see you, but I'm, go ahead. I'm a, green, I'm a green cube, but I'm still a human, okay? <laughs> I've always identified as a green cube. No, you're just an S. And so, oh, sorry. From here, it just looks like a green cube. No, you're, just, you're, just a, um, you're just a blue, blue S. S. Yeah. yeah, you're for, a, for you're a Look, guys, you're you I, want to, I want to admit something to you guys. I'm a blue S, dude. Uh, <laughs> I've never come out and said it before, but I want to <laughs> say it now. I'm a blue ass. And I think if you have the kids over to the house and you get a keg or a pony keg, I think Stevie is the place to start one of them baby kegs, yeah. you know, the mini kegs. Um, mm -hmm. I think it's okay if the kids drink at the house under adult supervision. I just don't think you should let them drive home unless you breathalyze the kids. Fair point. Right. So you have to have a breathalyzer at home? Yeah, that makes the party fun, a breathalyzer. Yeah, yeah, yeah it does. Yeah, yeah, it's it's like a, they're just going to be like, like who's a final the drunk it's like yeah, a that's what <laughs> I, it's, You know what? It's, it's, a, 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 it's, it's, a, it's a nuanced conversation because there's one side where you go, uh, you know, it, you, you can't do this, you know? And then there's the other side where you're just like, well, I want, if they're going to do it, yeah, I, be I, I want to be the okay. one in charge of it. Yeah, you know? I th I th what my dad did, because he knew I was going to drink when I was going to high school, and, you know, I wanted to get a scholarship to play Division One sports. And he's like, you can drink, do whatever your friends are doing that are fucking around. Do that. But the people you respect don't do that. They're focused on this thing. So you can mm -hmm. do that and have fun, but you're not going to get here. It's up to you. See? Go ahead and do that. And I never did it. You know what? It's about choices. I never did it's it. It's about presenting yeah, he choices, gave me choices and, and responsibility. I, 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 never, right? I never touched it until really I got out of college. Yeah, until I got to stand up, I never for started you. drinking. Good for you. Really? Never. Yeah. Come on! I, I want to get places. Yeah, I still, really? I, I've ne I never. Yeah. I, oh, no, I still don't my drink dad's to this beers. Day. Yeah. In the garage, we had a fridge. I would just take his Miller Lights, and yeah. Hell yeah! Me and Stevie almost overdosed. You little pussies. <laughs> 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 so Y'all need to step it up, dog. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Me I got too. a question yeah. for I, you then. I have so many things. How to do say you do it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. my to you. <laughs> Go ahead, hey Stevie. Yeah. Your kid comes to you. Boy, I'll fucking tickle you, boy. Um, <laughs> Should I do it for you? Your Theo? kid comes to you and asks, you got, it's time. He says, Daddy, I'm getting, you know, I'm getting something. My, my pants is getting hard. I'm seeing titty on girls. <laughs> How do you, what do you teach him? What do you tell him? You got, thir you got 30 seconds. To give your kid the talk. Go. Well, I would teach him first how to masturbate. Oh. Um, I would say if you're getting those feelings, gonna, and wait, then oh, I'd take I'm, him to the hustler store. Wait, wait, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Let I'm him talk, wait. guys. I'd take him to the hustler <laughs> store. Let, he, let me finish. I, I, I want to know how he's going to teach, teach him. him. Yeah. We want to we roll back to that. Oh, I could teach him. Can we button that? Oh, we I had to button him. that. Oh, I, I need to know how he's going to teach best him. Best believe it. I, I Timestamp like that. So I, <laughs> it's his son. It's my son. Okay. But you're like son. This how you do it. And you I, lead by example? Yeah, would, oh, God, so he would sit next know. to me. No. Just like sit. how Bobby taught Stevie. <laughs> yeah, he would sit next to me and I'd go, um, hey, uh, uh, his, let's say his name's Brian. Uh -huh. i go, hey, Brian, so uh -huh. take off. Yeah, all right, but sit over there. Oh, wow. So I'll sit over here and then maybe put on like this a movie. Disgusting. <laughs> what do you mean, dude? This no, is keep real. going. No, keep and then going. I would say, nice. okay, let so. Let him have his, let him have it. Is his son, So I'd say, this is a flashlight and I would teach him how to lube it. And I would say this, <laughs> and then I would say, "Hey, son, this is how you do it." Oh, God. And then that. Okay. That what I, way, what, what I like is in Steve's house, he's gonna have like a cabinet that's yeah. gonna open up, like. Oh, I, thought, I, mean? I thought you'd never. He's gonna be son. like, "Your son, you ready for the gold one?" You know what I mean? Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. that That'll way be, you're gonna keep him out of trouble. Can you throw one? It'll be like you're a, keep it'll him be like out a trouble, weapons room, and then yeah. he won't like no pregnancies, yeah. and then he'll learn how to bust nuts. Okay. Safe, safe, and more safe. You're like, son, okay. you thought that you was a nun gun chuck him in that little tea bag, dog. You got a nun chuck him in that little tea bag, boy. Okay, let's do this though. Let's say though, you're sitting there with your son, and you know you're ready to get the fleshlight. You look over, and his dick is just way bigger than yours. <laughs> wait, wait, hey, cut that out. No, 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 cut his that dick part is out. Just huge. No, 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 cut that part out. And then you're just looking at it. Please don't, dude. And, you, and he looks at you and he goes, Dad, how are you going to teach no, me? No, 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 yeah. no. Fear that you cut. I have fear that, that you cause me to be fearful. Then I would. All right, Ken. That's when I guess Linda? I kill myself. I, I can't wait to hear Theo's kid when, when he asks Theo questions. And that's questions. how they do it. Yeah. Make sure you kill yourself in the appropriate forest or whatever, dude. Be, be go back to your roots, dude, like a freaking boss. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Give me some. So if his <laughs> penis is pound it, dog. Yeah. yeah so if his on penis, the side of the TV. If his penis is <laughs> there, it is three inches, and my penis is like a Vienna sausage, like this. Uh huh. Yep. Pound uh, it, yeah, Bobby. I'd be so depressed. I don't know. He, he says pound it, dog. 
Boom! There it is. So that 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 would be a deep depression I'd fall in. Okay. Yeah, deep but, depression. Okay, Brent, okay. So, so you have your to have son the biggest is deceased dick in the house. now, and oh, you're in you, prison. You? Stevie, your son is deceased. You're in prison. Yeah, uh-huh. you're gonna go away ten Brendan. to fifteen. Brendan, your son comes home. He throws off his gi. He's got oil all over his body. Okay. How do you teach him about sex? You got thirty seconds to talk to him. How, like, how old is he? How old is he? Huh? Like right it's now? Your son? Your kid? I don't know. When was he born? <laughs> He's five, dude. I'd be so disturbed if he was well, all oiled up. And he's in prison. Wait, wait, he, went to prison? he just bought four Porsches, like his dad. He's got four <laughs> Porsches being delivered outside. Oh, I got one for you too, Brendan. You're running out of time. I got another one for you, Brendan. <laughs> what? Okay. Wait, yeah, answer Theo's first. Go. Answer Theo's. There's no question. I would drive down to that fucking jiu-jitsu gym. Whoever oiled him up and beat the shit out of everybody. What do you got, Stevie? <laughs> so your son, when he's 13 years old, he goes, "Hey, Dad, what's it, what's one of your son's names? Tiger of Boston." Okay, uh, hey, hey, it's Tiger, right? Whatever. Yeah. Hey, Dad. And he almost um, forgot. I, I, I found tell. this weed. <laughs> Um, do you mind if I roll a joint and I'll just smoke it in the backyard? Yeah. And he's never done it before? Yeah. And he's 13? Yeah. I would say the same thing my dad did. What? Like, you can do that. You're going to get really sick. You can do that. But what you, because he's really into sports. He loves, like, Tom Brady and LeBron James. And I'll tell him, those guys aren't doing that. So but, you can do that and be but like, But the Diaz the brothers did it. They train like that, right? When no. they're high, they... Sure. Triathlon. Sure. I don't want my kid to be the Diaz brothers. <laughs> but that's what they say to you. Enough, oh. But your kid says to you, but I want to be like the Diaz brothers. brothers. Well, if my kid goes, I'm an island boy. <laughs> I'd be like, God damn, dude. Yeah. Well, I, I failed as a parent. Well, I, I still have the visual of Brendan have his kid in his hand and he goes down to the gym and he's like, who oiled up my son? <laughs> <laughs> Who in the hell oiled up my son? You know? And they're just yeah. like, that, that's the scene I want to see play out. Who put oil up my son? Who been oiling up my boy? Huh? Hell yeah, dude. And look, it's all it's a big Bellator backstory is what it ends up becoming. <laughs> okay, Eric, your turn. 30 seconds. Your son uh-huh. comes up to you. Mm-hmm. He doesn't know. He's probably, he could be trans. He could be a <laughs> Piano player. We don't know. You don't know. Those are the choices. Trans or piano player. <laughs> yeah. Got it. Mm-hmm. Got it. Go. Uh, <laughs> and he comes up and he says, Dad, I, there's something. I don't know what's going on. I feel like I may be ovulating. I might have an erection. <laughs> and, mm-hmm. and I've been looking at porn. What do you tell him? Well, this Drug is, porn. This is natural. You know, your bodies react to the opposite sex or sometimes the same sex. And it's a natural feeling that you have. And, uh, you know, go explore that. That's you know your honest I mean? answer. You yeah. Like you don't want to make, you don't, make, you don't want to make your kid, you something? don't want to make your kid feel weird about anything. You ever. guys got 22 yeah. seconds to go. You know what I mean? I, play I, catch. I, I, I Do you take them to a park or something? Do you guys make it like a, like a, not a, but like a thing where, you know, a lot of in native cultures and you know, this probably some of you guys, maybe Stevie, maybe, uh, I'm full Apache, Doug. Nobody else, but mm-hmm. yeah, we Brennan said he's Apache, but, um, where sometimes the father, or son will go into the woods and the they, they'll teach the kid. They'll beat his one of his teeth out with a little thing, and then he'll ejaculate or whatever. And then he comes back a man. <laughs> what the hell are you talking? That's a about? weird. Well, this is where this is where that's insane. This what you where, just said. This is where Theo's from. <laughs> yeah, that, that's that you know, New his, Orleans. His dad took him from the trailer. Theo, yeah, that's Holy that New Orleans smokes. shit, man. And, and by woods, he meant the back of the trailer park. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> You know what I mean? Insane. Right by the, the, the shared barbecue pit. You know and, what I mean? And the Shell's gas station. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and the- uh, Nicholas, Google uh, teeth. Father knocks out teeth for. Uh, <laughs> I, I Googled right. This passage, is real. Lose tooth. What? Yeah. Uh, he's not lying. I no, knew real? it was rooted in some sort of truth. I didn't wow. know. Yeah, it's called the tooth fair, you right, sick fuck. Right of passage. Well, now we well, look, we made it a lot easier and we made it gay friendly by calling it that. This was the real boys. They went into the woods and they would ejaculate and knock out the tooth. I don't Whoa. know, dude. I don't know about Dio, that. didn't you loot? <laughs> you don't know. That's insane. Okay, and you're standing next to your son and you, both of you guys have oil all over your bodies <laughs> and you're yelling at people at a freaking open at an open mat. <laughs> <laughs> Durban no, doors. When, wait, when did we get oiled up in the story? <laughs> Everybody <laughs> oiled up. Yeah. How, why, how is everyone o- in the Theo story? Everybody's oily. You know what I mean? They either they're trans or piano players, and they're oily. But you got to take Theo's advice Dude. with a grain of salt. He lost his virginity, and he was getting rocks thrown at him. You yeah. feel me? That's what true. really? Yeah. 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 
Yes, sir. At a bowling alley, behind a bowling alley, <laughs> Tiffany Lane. Shout out Tiffany Lane's bowling alley. Still open. New carpet. They just put on the sign out front. <laughs> was that, is that brought to you by Theo Vaughn? Like, like his pictures inside the bowling alley? And it was like. Oh, it should. Yeah. This, this, yeah. The, the Theo Vaughn Center, you know. Yep. You have a lane, well, you have a lane named after all you? I'm saying. And Stevie would be all Stevie's got probably so much Astro. I bet you would test positive for Astro Glide if you just spit in a cup right now, Stevie. <laughs> oh, we can't let Theo off the hook, though. Your Theo, your son yeah. comes home. He's yeah. definitely trans. Okay. Yes. He yeah. asks you about trans. sex. Go yes, ahead, Nick. For sure. He has mascara yeah. on. He yeah. goes, Dad, I've been looking at these butts and I can't get enough of them. Yeah. 30 seconds. Yep. On you, Theo. Go. I would say, look, son. Look, beautiful son, child. <laughs> You know, uh, your mom left us. And so a lot of this shit is her fault. <laughs> fair. But, That's fair. But well, we're still here together, man. If, you know, I, you know, I, I sometimes I do masturbation in my room. If you need to do something, do I would suggest you do it in your room. Uh, not if you want to do it outdoors, not you in could the drive out to a park area. or something. You could do it outdoors. And I love you. Not in the wow. common area. Oh, That's pretty Theo's good. Good. Best yeah. answer. Yeah. Theo nailed that. Oh dang! Well, Thanks, man. I, don't, I, don't know, I don't know if he nailed it because no, the, because his like the his child would have it. already said, uh, "Don't call me son." <laughs> yeah, you know he like but so pronoun- he already messed up. <laughs> Pronouns are there and them, Dad. You know what I mean? Theo already well, messed okay. up at that. Process. Somebody rank us. Somebody rank us. Somebody rank us. Right. the best. Stevie's last. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, Stevie. You can't master it with your son next to you. Dude, you're my show. Korean brother. I know, but Are just you my just, Korean brother? Or? That's just not. <laughs> dude, that is betrayal. You're going to jail. Dude, you just betrayed jail. me, dude. Facts, Chad. You just you're betrayed me, dog. Facts, you betrayed your Korean yeah, brother. I'm just saying. I can't believe you just said wrong that. Wrong is wrong. It's not Cut you. Cut that out, Nick. It's not you. Chin, we have something to I'm discuss. I'm just looking at the scenarios. Unbelievable. Just the scenarios. Unfreaking believable, dude. My favorite thing is Steve. Unbelievable. Steve is outraged. Wow. This is. And this is what I said. Dude, him you off. betrayed me, dude. You betrayed me. Of all me. the things that said Steve oh, off, he is lying. Now Chino said, I didn't know you were Korean. You knew he was Korean. Oh, yes. my God. I'm hurt, dude. After Korean the show, he's like, uh, Chin, you were not, can we speak more? Yeah. Yeah. Chin, can we the one thing that pisses off the most. Chin, wow. Chin, can I have Not you. It's just a scenario. When I'm talking about having. Sex with myself, with, <laughs> with my, my son. son. It's called wholesomeness. It's, wholesome. it's called wholesomeness. It's not wholesome. Family no. wholesomeness. It's very That's what it is. Okay? Hollywood. Okay. Wow. That's what it's Hollywood. Yeah. I'll rest my case. Wow. What's this guy want, Nick? Uh, this is uh, King of Stan. What's up, Cats Crew? This is Nathan coming to you from Frisco, Texas. Um, just had a Amish. quick King of Sting it to throw it to you guys. So uh, I grew up as an only child. Uh, spent a lot of my summers indoors watching the game show network. So that is probably a good part of the reason why I have uh, braces as an adult at 26. <laughs> um, but one of the hidden no gems from that time period is $25,000 or $100,000 pyramid. Oof, um, I was a big that. fan. Brendan, I know you've been hitting the head a lot. So I don't know nice. if you can count quite that high. Maybe not as big of a fan, but still wanted to to throw it out there. King it or sting it. $25,000 or $100,000 pyramid. Uh, gang, gang, buzz, buzz. My favorite thing about those shows was like when they would go to commercial break, the lights would sort of dim, and then all of a sudden, like big conversations would break out. Yeah, like real shit. <laughs> uh, yeah. No, they would just be like, then it would, the guy would be like, yeah, you know, they, they would like, fake it. Yeah, fake yeah. talk. So I used to love that stuff. I don't remember the show. I can't comment. I don't remember it. You didn't watch TV? Yeah, I, watch I grew it. up on uh, Wheel of Fortune, Jeopardy, Family Wheel. Feud. Mm-hmm. I, I know those Fortune. shows. Mm-hmm. Yeah. See, for me, it was dating game, newlywed game. You know, I'm older, so it was like oh. those, those oh, are the Oh, the Price games. is Right, too. Price, price is Right is always right. been. Yeah. Yeah. Family Feud. If I'd miss school, I used to. I, I used to love watching. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah, right. You would watch Price is Right when watch you missed school. Yeah. Yeah. And then you'd be yelling at yeah. people. Yeah. 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 You know what I mean? Well, we actually, Stevie can check out the game and see if he likes it, because we have a $25,000 pyramid built for you, too. I think we could go Eric and Brendan versus Stevie and Theo. Fuck you, hoes. Uh, and Chin. Shin- well, right now, right now. Yeah, no. Chin will be the host. Not- how do you? How does it? How do you play? How, yeah, is, you uh, have to answer questions. Yeah, Chin. Chin will explain it once we. I'll get try there. my best. Yeah. Uh, um, we're so gonna- is Chin on my team? No, no. you're with Theo. You're with Theo. It's you, it's you uh, and Theo. I, I think no, you Chin guys already re- realized yeah. he's not. Yeah, he already rejected <laughs> your team. <laughs> yeah, he wants nothing to do with know, your team. He doesn't want your pissy kitchen sink or your or your shitty parenting. Or your shitty parenting. Those are Chin's Chin's words. He's dying (laughs) of skin anyway. In a couple of years, he's going to change the last letter of his name to a P. It's going to be Chip. Just a white dude. (laughs) Chip. Yeah, he's going to look like Sammy Sosa. (laughs) Chip. (laughs) 
<laughs> Sammy soy, so you little bitch selling out your Korean <laughs> mate. Know, dude. Very sad. Oh, we go. I love you guys. Good to see you today, Stevie. Hell yeah, man. We're having a good time, huh? <laughs> yeah, I had a dream the other day about you. Actually, you were selling um, blankets or something in it. Does that ring a bell? <laughs> No, it doesn't. No. Theo said that like his no. dreams are clairvoyant. <laughs> I'm an no. island boy. <laughs> Theo, I'm pumped for you, man, with that Netflix yeah, special, man. brother. Congratulations, man. Killing it. Thank you, man. Killing it. Yeah, just, I mean, yeah, enjoy do, it. do you feel I'll different, Theo? Out. Do you feel different? Do you think you're better than us? No. Uh, I thought that earlier, but I, I think I'm fine now. <laughs> Makes sense. Uh, Chin, bring us in. All right, thank you, Nick. This is the King and the Sting Pyramid, seen here every Thursday right here on YouTube or heard wherever you get your podcasts. Let's meet our first nope. team, Eric Griffin and Brendan Schaub. Now, Brendan, I hear you've been struggling with your weight a little bit. Facts. Yet, you have a show dedicated to food. Is part that the, true? Part of the problem, yeah. Food Truck Diaries. Mm -hmm. There you go. Okay, great. Eric, I have to know, what was it like working, on work with, or what was it like working with the workaholics, guys? It was great. Good dudes. <laughs> That's fantastic. <laughs> Those guys are hilarious. Now, let's meet our second team. Theo, Ooh. it says here you beat autism. <laughs> well, I beat it the first time. <laughs> He's in the third round right now with it. And yeah, we discussed yeah, this. I'll tell you this. It's definitely uh, it's that Tyson it's that Tyson Wilder, bro, that Fury Wilder. He's oh, coming yeah. back. Yeah, 10 round. Part three. And uh, we discussed this earlier, but I understand you have a Netflix <laughs> comedy special out. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Uh, yep, I do, and it's on uh, on on television on Netflix. You can check it out, man. And um, that's it. That's all. This it should be exciting. I hope it is. It is exciting. And now, Stevie. Let's see, oh. Stevie. I, I hear you recently parted ways with an artificial, disturbing tiny ass that you that's used to simulate sex. I imagine that was pretty hard. Yeah, man. There's a lot of growth <laughs> in that. You know what I mean? I'm proud of him. There's yeah. a lot of growth in that. All right. So as long I, as I masturbate in a different way. I don't have as many toys. <laughs> more, okay? more, more traditional. More traditional. With your okay? son, yes. Any more yeah. questions, Chin? No, no. Okay, great. All right. So now that we got known the contestants a little bit, let's get started. Today's categories right, are okay. Thick Heroes, The Con Test, Cats Kryptonite, The Great Outdoors, Let's Play Make Believe, and Laugh Track. Each category has seven answers. And one partner will have 45 seconds to, to describe all seven answers as a person guesses, as the other person guesses, I mean. Anytime you're allowed to pass, uh, and once you get to the end, you, get, you can go back to the beginning and try any you passed on. After two rounds, the winning team will, will play the pyramid. Nick and I are going to be, oh, Nick and I are going to do a quick practice round to show you, gonna, to an, uh, show you an example. Our fake category <laughs> is famous Asians. <laughs> this is, oh no, this, what does it say? This is Asian? This Asian people that are, oh, this is Asian people that are famous. This is Asian people that are famous. Nick will be giving me the clues. Let's put 45 seconds on the clock and go. God. He's gay and was in Star Trek. Uh Takai. George Takai, right? Yep. Uh he was a baseball player for the New York Yankees. They called him uh Godzilla. Uh I'm gonna fuck um, this up. You can pass. Pass. See, this is learn. We're learning. Mm -hmm. um, uh, he's he was in Parks and Recreation, and like a lot of people don't think of this as Asian, but it is technically Asian. India. Come on, no. No, but the guy, the guy. Yeah, I know. Uh, but he's from India. Yeah. Um, oh, uh, the freaking Aziz. goddamn Aziz Ansari. Yes. Uh, he's. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's an example. He's the father of martial arts. Uh, Bruce Lee. Yep. Uh, He's martial yeah. arts. See that black guy that went to my high school? <laughs> <laughs> uh, he, he was in community and... Ken Jeong. Yes. Uh, we got five out of seven. All right. Five's a good That's how they show. It. That's how it works. That's how that All right. works. All so right. So who goes first? Uh, we uh, will just say Brennan and Eric can go first. You can select the category. I'll do, I'll, I'll do Thick Heroes. Ooh, okay. Bad game. Thick Heroes. Uh, and I'm reading it to Eric? Uh, yeah. And the thi we'll, Thick Heroes? Oh, man. So <laughs> I'll... There's a little bit more detail of uh, after you pick the uh, thing. Uh -huh. well, show them the card, Brendan. <laughs> yeah. So right. Thick Heroes, these are famous, fat, or thick people. Uh, now, who will be giving you, or who will be giving and who will be receiving the clues? I'm, gi I'm, I'm giving. You're giving? Yeah, he's the bottom. You're the receiver? Yep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you got 45 Sorry, seconds, <laughs> and go. Uh, he's oh, a dude. buddy of ours. He does a, a podcast, Two Bears in the Cave. Bert Kreischer. The other one. Uh, oh, uh, Tom Segura. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
Um, he was the Prime Minister of England. He was a, a warrior. William Thatcher. Nope. He was a Prime Minister of oh, England. Oh, no. Um, um, oh, no. Come on. What did I say? I, I messed his name up. Uh, I forgot. Pass. Just, right? Yeah, you can pass. Uh, not Cardi B. Has a thick ass. She's from Houston. Oh, uh, Nicki Minaj. Nope, the other one. WAP. She sings the WAP song with Cardi B. Oh, I don't know. Pass. Ah, <laughs> fuck me. Uh, the other one for Two Bears in a Cave. Not Tom. Burt Kreischer. Yep. Uh, she has a fat ass. She's uh, uh, dating uh, Ben Affleck. Jennifer Lopez. Yep. Oh, yeah. uh, he was on I Flew Him Out. He came in here. He wrestled Stevie. Oh, man. I, why from I Chicago. Forget, I forget his name. Oh, my God. I forgot his Big name. Big comic that died. Ah, uh, fuck. Uh, I forgot the kid's name. I'm George. so sorry. George. I was going to say George. Son. The other I mean, one's Meg Thee Stallion. I don't know rap like that. <laughs> <laughs> She's a savage. Uh, Meg Thee Stallion. WAP? Uh, uh, huh? I said WAP. That's Nicki Minaj. Yeah, it was bad. No, it's man. not. Oh, it's not. That's Cardi B. I feel like they did. They did okay. How they many? Have, uh, they have four. Four. I, I believe, right? Yeah, you're right, man. You guys right. did pretty good, man. Four? You guys did pretty good huh. for you guys, huh? Right? Uh, I got to look. All right, I got you, Theo. You ready? Hold, hold on. Wh yeah. Which? Uh, which? Let's play make believe. Let's All play. right, let's make believe. These are some things people think don't exist. All right, you guys are ready. Who's gonna give? Who's receiving? Uh, I'm doing. You're the, gonna give? Yeah, and then Theo, listen up, okay? All right. Well, we have 45 seconds on the clock, and Go. Okay, this is a horse with a horn on its forehead. Ooh, um, <laughs> Halloween. <laughs> no. Uh, uh, sorry. Horse uh, with a horn. A magical horse with a horn. Like a carnival horse. Come on, bro. Dude, think more mythical. Oh, uh, unicorn. Thank you. God, Doug. Um, this is, if you meet a woman, you might say this to her after 10 years. You are my. Goodbye. You are my something, something. A sunshine. <laughs> Theo, you are my something, something. You love this person for eternity. You are my for eternity. life partner. Pass. Pass. Read faster, dude. Okay. Three seconds. People pray to this when they get on their knees. God. Ah, God. Got it. Count it. You can count it. Yeah. All right. That's two then. You guys did or didn't get Winston Churchill. You didn't. Winston get... Churchill. That's oh, what they did. Yeah. He said Thatcher. Okay. So yeah. it's actually three to two. Three to oh, two. Three. three to two. Damn. Six. That's the one I forgot. All right. Eric, um, you're up. Which so one you are you? Ready to go, Bubby? You tried, um, Bubby. <laughs> <laughs> the contest? I don't okay. know what this even means. So the contest, these are words that start with con. C O N. Mm. So 45 seconds on the clock oh. and go. Uh, a criminal. Con. Con. Uh, <laughs> they're in jail. Convict. Boom. Boy. Um, it's the, it's, uh, <laughs> they want to tear down the statues. Uh, it was on the, it was on the top of the General Lee in the uh, Dukes oh, of Roger Hazzard. Rabbit. It's outside of Theo's door. Yeah. Oh, Confederate? Yeah. But Confederate it's, uh, flag. it waved, yeah, boom. Sorry. I don't have the flag, I have the napkin. It's a city next to, it's a, uh, uh, a state next to New York. Boom. Uh, Theo never uses them when he has Condom. sex. <laughs> <laughs> Not so fast. Uh, <laughs> or, or erections. <laughs> Keep going. There. Uh, when when you, uh, the uh, sh uh, sh uh, she was working with uh, George Bush, black. Uh, 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 oh, oh, fuck. Steve likes to eat it. Pass, pass. Give me one more. Uh, you, li you live <laughs> oh, in. Uh, oh. Tommy Lisa uh, Rice. Boom. Yes. Yeah, what? Yes, See, that's 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 that counted? Yes, that was that a delay. No, I, I can go it. back. I can go sure? back. Is, yes. that, is he breaking the law? I think if you say the answer, like, yeah, 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 he yeah, got it. That so that was it. Yeah. If we can't that's five. Sing it. Yeah, but yeah. I think it's unfair that Theo was talking during ours. <laughs> yeah, he was <laughs> making okay. jokes and shit. Yeah. Yeah. When you didn't get that unicorn. Five, five. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so it is uh, five, three, and two. Uh, it is eight to two right now. Now, Damn. now Theo actually will give to Stevie. He has the same cards in front of him. Oh, okay. okay, let's go, okay. buddy. You can pick between Cat's Kryptonite, The Great Outdoors, Laugh Track. I think that's it. Oh yeah, those three. Yeah. Great Outdoors. Okay. Good luck, Stevie. Okay. Wait. So which one did you pick? Great yeah. Outdoors. The great outdoors. The great outdoors? outdoors. All right. So these are things that are outside. Forty-five seconds on the clock. Hold on. Hold on one second. Hold on. All right. And go. Okay, they fly in the air and they can poop downward. You say it again. A, gli a, hand gli a glider. A glider. <laughs> no, oh, it, it, but it, it makes us. It makes a squawking noise. Uh, yeah. They fly in the air, Stevie. <laughs> a fucking bird. Hel Helicopter. Oh, bird, bird, bird. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> Good job, Steve. Uh, these are um, the women that you don't care about that are always over there putting on lip gloss and talking Slut. smack. Sluts. <laughs> a newer no. term for it. Oh, thought. Uh, thought. Yeah. 
Oh, nice. Okay, okay. if somebody doesn't have a place to live and they homeless. live outdoors, what do you call oh, them? Homeless. Got it. Oh, got it. Yeah. All right, got it. Okay, it's bumper to bumper. All these traffic, cars. What's traffic, it traffic, bumper to bumper traffic. Okay, it's a, it's a, it's a lesbian or a man that brings out postage to your house. Last one. Oh, <laughs> male woman. Uh, <laughs> male <laughs> male man. All right, so that's four. No, man. So uh, unbelievable. One, the, uh, Eight to six. This Woo! is going pretty. I was only going to do two rounds, so this is going pretty well. I think oh, we finish oh. out the category. Birds, man. Yeah. Hey, man. Let me hold. Let me talk to my partner for a second. <laughs> 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 think about it. Still, think about it. Think about what you're about it's to about say. It. Then say it. Go ahead. Think of something that's in the air. <laughs> it's birds. <laughs> and takes a shit. He said hang glider. I mean, horse with a horn, though, also. Yeah, the unicorn. <laughs> okay, okay. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm going to What's the score? Are we, are we tied? Are we tied? It's, it's eight to six. You guys are six. So the uh, so we'll actually have Theo uh, and Stevie go, so we know if they have a shot to win um, since they're behind. Because if you guys get too many, then... But if we only get two... No, uh, let them go. Let, that's no, fair. No, let no, them go. No, let's try and dominate. Uh, yeah, let them go. Yeah, okay. they can dominate. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's blow them out of the water. Okay. I right. think go the, I'm, go I'm, the normal I'm, way. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, go go the cats, normal. cats, kryptonite. Cats, kryptonite. All right, these cats are things kryptonite. that. What's so, cats, this? kryptonite is these are things that we all struggle with. Forty-five seconds on the clock. We all like us here. Yeah, everybody. Any, uh, every human. Be one person that struggles with it, but someone in here struggles with it. Oh, Jesus. All right, forty-five seconds on the clock yeah, and hard category. go. No, it's not. This is easy. Uh, if you eat too much food, you're always trying to lose weight. Yep. Uh, Theo loves to snort this Coke. Yep. <laughs> uh, it, one thing Molly. for Stevie, he needs to have more what on stage. Uh, jokes. Yeah, but he needs to be stage time. No, he needs to have this in life. Uh, more sense like you, of humor. Pass. Pass. All right. Uh, um, we need to do better uh, what? When you and your girl are talking She goes We need to have better Communication Yep um, Theo also struggles with this He has to go to uh, therapy for it Because he likes to do this with women uh, Sex Yep um, <laughs> uh, More More uh, 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 Sex But if you do it all the time You have a problem You would have a oh, yeah, Sex addiction Yep, yep. Okay. Boom Time Alright that's only four Four Wow so, You guys did good Uh 12 to 6. You guys need 6 out of 7 to tie. 7 perfect game to win. Oh, this should be... It's hey, laugh track, hey, right? Hey, hey, don't, don't jump the clock. Don't jump the clock. <laughs> yes. Don't jump Thank the clock. You. Give me a second so I can look. So laugh track, you can... Yeah, laugh track. So laugh track, these are famous sitcoms. What? Oh. Famous sitcoms. Let me know when you're ready, Stevie. Did he even... What? Wait, 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 wait. Five. Four, three, two, one. Not a and chance in this hell. is a man's name that th that rhymes with rave. Us, uh, Dave. We're gonna count it. No more rhyming. That's rule <laughs> okay. number one. Um, this Go. is um. You must be ridiculous. Pass. Pass. We won. Um. Hurry up, CB Reed. Uh, um. This is um. Uh. <laughs> We're gonna find a way. Da, 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 da. We're gonna find our Pass. way. Pass. I have Pass, no idea show that is. <laughs> <laughs> this is. Oh, Eric's on the show. He used to be on the show. Uh -huh. He was King on the thing. No, no, no. He was on a TV <laughs> show. It was called Workaholics. Oh, uh, uh, Mr. Belvedere. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, Eric Griffin and Brendan Shaw. Let me let me try to do this. Let me, let, let me try to do this with. Uh, uh, Theo. Do not ever be my Theo. partner again. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 we're to find a way. We're to find a way. <laughs> it was the theme song. To what? For growing pains. We're oh. gonna find. Oh. Uh, okay. I, oh. Theo. Theo. Let's. Let's. Uh, as long as we got each <laughs> other, that's the theme song. <laughs> okay. Dude, Alan messed. Thick, Mike Seaver, Kirk Cameron. Oh yeah. God. I also had Small Wonder on there, Theo. I, I like really played to Oh your... man, <laughs> I let you down, Never man. Heard of that I let you down. Small wonder with the robot. Uh, we talked about Kyle Dunnigan. Uh, Isn't it my turn? Oh, no, you, oh, you guys won. You we guys, won. You guys oh, we the beat the shit out of them. All right, all right. Don't rub it in. You did. Deal. Deal. Uh, sorry to I'm shit so sorry, on you on your Theo. Netflix day, but what's up, bro? So sorry, Theo. I'll okay, you... it happens, man. You know it's hard to. Uh, I'll let you down. I think. I let you down. I want to believe Stevie tried his best. I tried, dude. I mean, you guys are just better. I wanted to win. I did too. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in to King of the Sting. <laughs> the the pyramid Back to you. The pyramid one you. is harder, like to for the descriptions. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 And those were tough. Yeah. But that the, the game itself was fun. Yeah, we beat the shit out of you guys. Dysfunctional <laughs> team over there. Yeah.
Uh, should we close it out with another king it or sting it? Yeah, last one. All right. Yeah. The- Theo's lost all energy after getting his ass whooped like <laughs> he- that. He's a competitor. I guess he's fucking pissed. I wanted to win. I don't I know. know. It's my fault. Stevie. It's my fault. I'll get. I'm gonna buy you a smoothie next time you come in. Stevie wasn't you- ready. Get, get you Brandon, a smoothie. So who is sorry. this? What does this look like? Okay. Who is that? You don't know what it looks like. What? No one knows. Is Heath Ledger. The guy Heath who Ledger. Had a weed business oh, at home. I thought you good with Heath Ledger. Yeah, a Heath little Ledger. bit. I know a lot. Yeah, yeah, he does. It's pretty. It's pretty spot on. Chin whispered to him. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. he does look like him. A little bit. A little. A little. Bit. Oh a yeah. A little wow. bit. Hairstyle. No, his face. Uh, yeah, the face. Yeah, yeah. for sure. You think the face. So? Yeah. Dead on. The okay. jaw. Spot on. What up, King and the Sting? He joins here. Why is so dorm. serious? I got a King and the Sting for you guys. Uh, public restrooms. Uh, I'm here at the dorm, so the bathroom situation. There's about 40 of us using three stalls. Oof. And mm. it's quite nasty. The other day, somebody, well, they were doing that dirty. Must have had some casserole or something from the calf. I don't know. But mm-hmm. the. Must have ran out of toilet paper. They used some of them paper towels. Uh, oh, clogged left it. them in the corner. Oh, yeah. yeah. Flush yep. Them. So, yep. Yep. Yeah. I mean, that's tough, King man. Can you sting it? Uh, that's Public a sting it. Yeah, sting it. Bro, what I what I would do when I was in college, because they, they don't give you a bathroom. They give you a sink. I used to just piss in the sink all the time. Ugh. Yeah. God, hell yeah. Felt free. It was, it, nothing felt more free. Well, I just think I this, is, like this is like you have to have some kind of talk. You know, it's like you have to have like a dorm meeting. And with, all those, yeah. with all those savages. Oh, you can't have yeah, a talk. If you have a talk, you're going to get RA. beaten, dog. Yeah, you can get jumped, yeah. Eric. Yeah, well, what school are you Eric, you're going to get jumped. Do you have a talk? You're going to sit talk. people down yeah, at we gonna dorm. Have like, <laughs> and then we're going to have like a, like, here's the talk ball. So only you can only talk. This isn't Harvard, dog. This is LA Community College. People taking shits all over the place. Bruh. Oh, you can You're walk on campus to use I had their to grow up on these streets. <laughs> <laughs> You're trying to have a talk with everybody, dude. Yeah, half these talk. people are future opioid addicts, okay? <laughs> All right. You're well, not eating having a fucking talk. Then you, talk well, with then these you have to sting people. it and you just hope it works out. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Bring your own baby wife. No, I think. Bring no, your you own go ahead, baby wife. You plan, you stay. You, you write some stuff on the stall walls that are going to keep certain types of people out of certain stalls. Yeah. You, uh, you tra- I think you do things to kind, to kind of mark your territory a little bit. Yep. Or you, um, you give those oatmeal uh, cream pies. And you go, hey, man, every Tuesday at 6 o'clock, mm-hmm. that stall's mine. Here's your cream pie. Mm. Oh, you baby should, wipes. Yeah, it's like prison. That's what I'm saying. You have your own baby yeah, you wipes. you have your own baby wipes. You can wipe down the you know toilet I mean? with your own baby wipes. Yeah. It's mm-hmm. a nightmare either way. Yeah, it's Is a that nightmare. it, brother? That's it. Yeah. All right, man. Dallas, November 11th to the 13th. Shooting my 30-minute special. ba ba baby. Uh, I'll be doing a pop-up it, spot uh, November 4th and 5th in L.A. I'll have info for you guys soon on that. This is going to be a special night, too. Uh, but we'll have news for that. What do you got, Eric? Yeah, I'm at the Arlington Draft House uh, this weekend. Great Friday place. and Saturday. Love it. Mm-hmm. Ooh, nice. uh, YouTube.com slash Scissor Bros. Subscribe today. The Vaughn Netflix mm-hmm. special is out. Yeah, check it out on uh, on twi- on uh, on Netflix, Netflix on a, on your platform and just you know like it. Tell people to watch it, and mm-hmm. then I'll be in Charleston and Asheville this weekend. Oh, we just opened up some tickets for Coachella uh, in Coachella, California. At a casino out there on December fourth, so that's a Spirit yeah. Casino, I think. Mm-hmm. Nice, Stevie. I don't know if you've been out there. That'd be fun. No, I haven't, I haven't been out there. Mm-hmm. Sure, a lot of your grandparents have been out there, but um, <laughs> it's a, a, a uh, beautiful a casino out there in the desert, and it's mm-hmm. a good place. And so I'm looking forward to seeing you guys out there. Maybe Stevie will come out there and make. Why don't you come out there and do five minutes? Yeah, with, with Ooh, Stevie. yeah. I'm writing some stuff, Theo. Just give me. Yeah, I'm, I got I'm, him I'm, coming November first. I'm, ri- I'm writing. Steve's I'm writing. gonna come to. I yeah, do a I'm show writing. at the lab at the Improv. Steve's right, gonna come yeah. do three minutes there. I'm starting to write. So we're doing it. We're okay. gonna we gonna get this going. I just gotta get thrown in the pool. I've been writing. I've yep. been writing. Love it. December fourth, you might be ready. Maybe I don't know. Either way, I have to. Yeah, you'll be ready. You gotta do it. You got a lot of time. The Theo's giving you opportunity. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I'll hit the notebook. I'll hit the notebook. There you go. All right, guys. Love it. We're out. That'd be awesome. Take care, guys. Brendan and Theo, fighter and wait. I gotta go in and go hard in the paint. I do not think I am.
volume and flow Black rifle coffee, I'm ready to go I need a sponsor, I am a monster About to open up with this at my concerts Flow is contagious, brows are outrageous Thicker than girls that are Instagram famous Damn, hungry like I'm fresh off keto Seeing red like Andrew Santino Every song I hit like the great Bambino Burn an eighth of queso and the queso Ritos But everything's gonna be fine Ay, Hate on me, I do not mind Ay, Theo looking like the type of dude that got a pack of matches in his pockets at all times yeah, They sliding into my DMs A couple of you try but couldn't beat them Quit playing like Nintendo DS You don't want the smoke like Joey Diaz uh, Meaning y'all edible Just got my eyebrows threaded and I'm feeling incredible yeah. Brennan's son hit me up He said it's too loud in the club Can you pick me up? King and the Sting King and the Sting oh.